Like, comment, subscribe. What? Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. Uh, oh crap, here it is. This has got to be our trailer. Look at that old ass. Look at this old ass. Please turn in here. No, he's going to pass us. Damn it. Because that truck has to be from Mexico. That looks like a Mexican raised truck right there. Truck brokers, yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, you're probably wondering, what the hell was all that about, David? We are sitting here in the door. Our appointment time's uh, 1400 today. That's 2 o'clock. Um, there was conflicting uh, information about what time this place opens uh, in both on the same page it said they opened at 8 and then it says they opened at 10 so I decided to come from two miles up the road at the truck stop at 8 a.m. this morning I got here and know they open at 10 so waited till 10 went in checked in he said put it in the door door 2 open up slide your tandems and you will be the lucky receiver of produce I was like right on I'm like thinking to myself Mm, we're gonna get out of here early because right now we're gonna okay let me just keep going with the story and like not get sidetracked so i'm thinking i'm gonna get my boots out of the picture okay oh, now the sun's in my eyes okay so we can't go back up we're out of here all right so anyways what was i talking about five plus two equals nine um damn it Okay, so I go in there, and he says, yeah, go ahead and go in the door. So this is at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm thinking, great, we're going to get in early. So I tell the guy, hey, just so you know, when my doors are open, um, my reefer shuts off. And I'm doing this because I don't want him putting me in the door and having me sit here until 2 o'clock with my doors open, burning reefer fuel. And also, that will let me know if they got my stuff ready to go. So he goes, oh... Well, you know what? He goes, just back up. Um, he says, just something popped up on my screen. I was reading. I probably look all dumb staring at the screen. Um, so he said, okay, well, just back up. Leave your doors closed, and I'll call you. He goes, the product's not all here yet. So I'm like, damn. So after about sitting at the door for maybe a half hour um, or so, maybe an hour, He uh, calls me, says, all right, open up, go ahead and back in. So I go ahead and do that. Boom, they hammer, 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 hammer. Me all the way up till about 37,000 pounds. These are with my tandems back and at a downward slope. So I know I got a pretty good product in there, but not loaded completely. And then it stops. And after about a half hour, I said, you know what? Let me go see what's going on. So I went in there and, hey, man, just, you know, you got a restroom. I know they don't. I know there's knives right there, but I'm just trying to, you know, casual talk. Oh, unfortunately, you got to use the, the house is outside. Okay, cool. Oh, by the way, door two, I was just wondering, you know, uh, what's uh, what's up with that? Because, yeah, we, we stop, you know. Bleh. And he's all, uh, oh, yeah, we're waiting on some product that should be here any minute from uh, uh, to finish loading you. Damn. But he did make it sound like it's going to be any minute, although it's been about another half hour. And I'm the only truck here. So I'm assuming if I get a truck that came from Mexico, pull in here, that's going to be my product. That's, uh, oh, and why I'm so anxious, you know, being that 2 o'clock is really our drop dead time, is... We're supposed to be home on the 23rd. We got things we got to do before we, you know, go to Thanksgiving and all that and all that good stuff. And we were supposed to be home technically early on the 23rd. We were actually going to get home today if that FedEx load didn't screw us. We'd be home already um, or very close to it. Um, no, we'd have been home already. So... Now we won't be home. We got about 20 hours, probably a good 22 hours maybe to actually get home once we leave here because we got to go to the Dallas yard, drop this uh, drop this trailer, pick up an empty if they have one, and then uh, go over to the Houston yard and drop it there and then go home from there. Now, if you're wondering, why aren't you just dropping it in the Houston yard? Okay, so why didn't I drop it in the Houston yard, you ask? Oh, let me get my super trucker headset off. 
Yeah, I've had like 15,000 interruptions trying to film this video. All right, well, that's because the Houston Yard, we can't drop anything that uh, needs to be main watched, uh, cooled, you know, anything. Can't drop loaded trailers, basically. I mean, you can under certain circumstances, but for the most part, no. I say that because I know if I say that, 10,000 people are gonna, I dropped there before loaded. I dropped there, well, so have I. But for the most part, it's not a drop guard you can drop a loaded trailer at. Um, there's certain circumstances that you might be able to, but not a lot. So that's why we're not just dropping it there. And we got to uh, um, drop it at the yard. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I didn't get a load close by the house like I did last time. So I got the deadhead from Dallas to the uh, to Houston and go home. Pick up my truck in Houston and get on home to Livingston. Anyways, uh, hey, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I hope you guys are having a great uh, uh, pre-Thanksgiving uh, week. Wait, it ain't even week now because it's now Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's day, day Thanksgiving week. Mm, okay, crazy. Mm.